What's good, y'all? So I never thought that I'd tell anybody this full story without killing them after. But I'm gonna just go ahead and tell y'all the story because I'm past it, it happened, I'm over it. And since I'm a YouTuber now, I get to tell y'all how I lost my V-card for your entertainment. So anyways, man, go ahead, get your popcorn, get whatever you need, sit back, relax, and listen to the story. So this is one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, and I'm about to share this with y'all. So y'all better not laugh at any point in this video. I'm serious too, like I'm dead ass. Like, not even my, my closest friends don't even know about this story. My brother barely knows about this story. My parents, they definitely don't know. My parents still think I'm a virgin. I just wanna say, I was a late bloomer, y'all. I was a late bloomer. I lost my V card at the tender age of 10 years old. That's late. That was a joke. You should not be losing your V card at 10 years old, man. And if you did, my sincere apologies. That's, that's, just, that's just way too young. That's just way too young, y'all. So I officially lost my V card at 19 years old, y'all. And that's why I said I'm a late bloomer. Because most people I know that lost their virginity do it at least 14, maybe 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 17. But I lost my shit at 19 years old, man. That within itself is kind of embarrassing. But since I'm older now, it's really not that embarrassing. Sex is not all that is cut out to be. It's just having random sex is just... It's whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's whatever. When you're a virgin, you think having sex is gonna cure all your problems. It's gonna be the best thing ever. No, it's not. It's not. That shit, all right. It depends on the person you do it with and the, and the experience and the connection y'all share. You know what I'm saying? It depends. But it's not all what it's cut out to be. The movies, the movies be lying to y'all, man. So I know y'all wondering, damn, Jay Hall ain't getting no hoes. That's actually not the case. I did go on dates. I did kiss girls in high school. I just didn't have sex with them. You know what I'm saying? I, the opportunity. I mean, I did have an opportunity, but I didn't do it. So it's not like I couldn't get any girl to touch me. But it ended up happening in 19. I was a sophomore in college. So I went to this little private college in Kentucky, right? Surrounded by a bunch of white bitches. I'm sorry. A bunch of white girls. So I was talking to a lot of white girls. So it was this white girl in particular. I didn't think she was that attractive, me personally. But when the liquor kicks in, everything started looking attractive. You know what I'm saying? You could see you could see any damn girl and you'd be like, damn, it's it's plow time, man. It's go time. Let's get it. Oof. You know what I'm saying? You dive right in. But listen. So this girl, you know, she, she'd hang out with us in the group and we all hang out together and she started taking a liking to me. And it's usually the girls that I don't be wanting that be taking <coughs> Shit. All right, so as I was saying, when I was rudely interrupted by my own body, it's usually the girls that I don't be liking like that that be taking a liking to me, which is crazy, man. And the girls I want don't ever like be wanting me like that, man. Life, life, life is just fucked up, right? <laughs> life is just fucked up. So we was all chilling in a friend group together. She started taking a liking to me, and she she was making moves on me, and she was giving me clear signs that she would want me to stay, cause sometimes we be chilling in her apartment with, with her roommates, right? And she would give me signs that, like, why don't you stay, why don't you keep me company? She'd give me those signs. And if you know those signs, you know those signs, you know what I'm saying? But I but I, I, I make up an excuse, say, you know, I, I gotta go down, I gotta chill with my homies downstairs, or I got some homework to do, so I, I walk downstairs and go to my dorms, because we did live in dorm rooms, right? But they had like, their dorm room was set up to like an apartment, which was crazy. I was kind of unfair now I think about it. How they got a whole apartment I got a little dorm room. I was literally living in a jail cell, man. Like, that shit, that shit tough. But yeah, I would make up an excuse to go down there and get the hell out of there and go do my thing. Because I was just trying to avoid her, trying to be alone with her like that. Because I just wasn't into her like that. Not that she was ugly. I just wasn't into her like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, this dreaded day came up. Well, it wasn't a dreaded day. It was a it was a party. I think it was a Friday night or Saturday night or, some, or something. Somebody was having a party. It was either the our lacrosse team. Our lacrosse team back then, they would throw a lot of parties or the rugby team would throw parties. Must have been like a lacrosse party in, in someone's house in the basement. So we, we was at this party, you know what I'm saying? We was chilling, we was having fun, turned up with my with my friends. There was liquor involved, we were drinking, we, we was dancing, you know what I'm saying? And then somehow I started dancing with her. We was dancing and she was doing her little her little white girl dance, you know what I'm saying? She, she couldn't do much with it. She couldn't do much. She was just, you know, side to side. I was like, okay, let me sway side to side with you two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, 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 she couldn't do much. Like she won't throw it back. You know what I'm saying? She won't throw it back. And you know, once once the liquor hits, I turn into a whole different person. Probably that probably goes for any guy too. Once that liquor hits, it just this this wave of horniness just comes over you. It's like, okay, I was never this horny. Like, why am I horny now? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what the liquor does to you. So I was just a horn dog, man. I was a, I was horny. So I was I was dancing with her, grabbing on her, and then by the end of the party. Her friends went off and I went with my friends, but then she saw me outside the party and somehow ended up in the car with me 
and my friends. I was with two of my other friends. One was driving, the other one was in shotgun, the front seat, and I was chilling in the back. And she came in the back with me, right? So my horn dog ass self, I started, I, I just started reaching. I don't know what I was reaching for. I just reached and I was touching. There was a lot of reaching and touching. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, uh huh. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but that was no homo though. And we was kissing, kissing, and exchanging, exchanging live and all that, you know what I'm saying? So we was, we, we was doing all that, right? And I told myself for the longest that I am not gonna hit this girl, but I do not wanna hit this girl. I'm not gonna do it. And guess what? Nigga got some liquor and did it. So we was in the back seat of my friend's car. They, they, they was hungry, so they drove to IHOP. So while we were driving to IHOP, we was touching, kissing, you know, making out, copping feels and all that, copping some feely, feely, feely. While they was in Waffle House, eating it up, man, eating it up that nasty ass waffle and that, that, ha that hash brown or whatever they be got. Waffle House waffles be fired though. I'm not, I'm not even gonna play. So while they was in there munching on them waffles, shit, I was munching on something else. You know what I'm saying? I was munching on them titties, man, them titties. I think they was in there for like a good 15, 20 minutes. Then they came back out and then we drove back to the college campus and I was drunk as shit. Walked back to my dorm room, feeling a little bit happy and still horny. So I was in my dorm room, I opened my door, and my roommate was on his side in his bed, sleeping, right? So I went to my dorm room, laid down on the bed, right? And then out of nowhere, I got this text. Bing! Do you want me to come down? It was from the girl. She said, she asked, she was asking me if, if I wanted her to come down. So I was thinking with Lil J. Lil J was doing all the thinking. Big Brain was not thinking. I was like, Sure, yeah, come down. So she came down, opened the door. I saw this look in her eyes like she was ready to demolish my shit. She was like, 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 damn, like she, like she be waiting for this. So she comes in the door, right? Then she comes on top of me. And then immediately, pants went down. Then she started going down there. And she started doing a, do, do, doing a little suck, suction action. You know what I'm saying? She started doing a little suction action. I can't, I can't give y'all all the, the gory details just because I'm on YouTube. And YouTube is going to... Yellow mark my shit. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? She was doing a little, 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 little suck, 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 suck your action. I was like, I can't feel shit. <laughs> you, know? you know what I'm saying? The whole time she was in there putting it at work. And yeah, keep in mind, I didn't get up. You know what I'm saying? Lil J was like this. I, I was like this. She was doing a little suck, suction action, but I couldn't feel nothing. Cause the liquor was coursing through my veins, man. The liquor was coursing through my veins. And she was doing all the work. I said, damn, I don't feel shit. And she was like, you got a condom? And I was like, she, I had that one condom I've been carrying around for about a month in my wallet, knowing I was going to get no, you know, you know, guys be having that one condom in your wallet for like years, knowing they ain't going to get no pum pum, no, no, va 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 you know what I'm saying? Lucky enough, I did have that condom in my wallet. I walked up, got up, got it out and she put it on. I gave it to her and she put it on and then she just started, she got on top of me and she was it was just saying, man, she was riding the horse. You know what I'm saying? She was riding Lil J. And Lil J was having fun. Until the most embarrassing moment of my life happened, man. So I hear people call it whiskey dick. People call it whiskey dick. It's when you're so drunk that you can't sustain an erection. And that shit, that shit goes from this. So it's, wham. I couldn't feel nothing in the beginning. And when the condom went out, I, I worse couldn't feel shit. I was like, damn, is she on me right now? I can't, <laughs> I can't feel nothing. Like she was, like she, she was going up and down. You know what I'm saying? Riding a horsey. And I was in my mind like this. What's happening? Something, something happening? Like I, I ain't feel nothing. I, I don't feel nothing. And then I slowly just noticing myself start to get wilt and get smaller and smaller and smaller until I was no longer there. And I was like, damn, why is this happening, bro? Cause low key in my mind, like I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Cause who's gonna pass up some JJ? But my, but little J, that nigga failed me. You failed me, man. What were you thinking? Sometimes me and Lil J be having these talks, man, because sometimes I can't, I don't know what he be doing. Like, when I be wanting him to, he don't be performing up to, he, he don't be performing up to par. But other times I could be chilling, this nigga is uh, up to attention. I'm like, what the hell, bro? I, I, I ain't tell you to do that. You know what I'm saying? He got a mind of his own, bro, I swear. And then I, then I could just see the energy of disappointment just comes down on her, bro. She started looking at me less of a man. And I saw, and I noticed that look. You know what I'm saying? I noticed that look. And I was like, fuck this. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get up. Lil J, you gonna be up. You gonna be up. So I'm like, shit, let me get up on my legs. I hear, I hear that if, if you stand up, the, the blood would more likely flow down to your pee pee, right? So I, I said, hey man. No, no, what? So, so I said, hey girl, come on. Stand up. So I told her to stand up at the side of the bed. And while, and just keep in mind, while all this was going on, my roommate was right next to me, sleeping or pretending to sleep. I don't know what he was doing. I did not care at the time. So 
I stood up, told her to stood up and tooted up, and I said, toot it up. Somehow Lil J got a little bit of traction again. He was like, he was like this. He wasn't all the way like this. He, he was like this. But somehow I got it back in, doing my thing for like five seconds. And then Lil J was back to this. And at that point, all, all you could do is just laugh. You know what I'm saying? All, all you could do is just laugh at that point, man. She felt even worse this point. She started looking at me differently, bro. Like she 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 started looking at me like a punk. And I could feel that shit, man. I could feel that shit. And then out of nowhere, I hear the door to the bathroom opens. And guess who walked out? My roommate! While I was butt ass naked with a girl right in front of me, my roommate walked out of nowhere and, 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 and did some weird ass shit. Look, this is what he did. So I was right here like this with a girl, right? And then he walked towards me and went like this. Oh! And then walked back to his bed. I was like, what the fuck? Bro! But I don't know what the hell was going through that man's mind, bro. But that shit was weird. And at, and at that point, I was just over. I was over with it, bro. I was over. I was done. I was defeated. Lil J betrayed me. My roommate was on some weird shit. I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna wrap it up. It's time to go. I told the girl to leave. You know what I'm saying? She ended up leaving. I was in my bed, disappointed, angry. I just felt all these emotions, man. Angry, drunk, disappointed. I feel like less of a man, man. I feel like a bitch. And to think that was the first time I legit had sex with a girl. And all that happened. Damn, bro, I couldn't, I couldn't feel shit. Is this what sex is? Is this really what sex is? I waited 19 years for this. Shit, if that's what it was, I could have waited at least three more years. That's cap. That's cap. I wouldn't have waited. Like, I, I was a horn dog, man. But yeah, man, I just felt disappointed. I felt down. I'm Bad. I felt bamboozled. I felt used. I felt abused. So guys, make sure you watch your alcohol intake whenever you hooking up with a girl, man. Alcohol and sex don't mix that well. Actually, too much alcohol and sex don't mix that well. And that's not even the worst part, bro. Like, so I woke up in the morning, right? And our campus has this thing called a morning brunch where you go and get brunch at the dining hall and whatever. So she was with her friends, right? And I was going to meet up with my friends. And then I walked past them. I just I just noticed them looking at me and laughing. Like th they were doing this. <laughs> and in my mind, I was just trying to keep it cool and just like keep walking. You know what I'm saying? But really, I wanted to scream. I was just like, fuck! Fuck this shit! I really just wanted to turn a school shooter. I was going I was going to shoot up the place, bro. I was I was going to turn a school shooter, bro. So to add on to my own embarrassment and my own failure and Lil J's failure, that had to happen too and piled up on it. That's the worst thing, man. They go and tell their friends and their friends tell other people and then like you just have it just it just it just it all turns out bad. And then guess what? After I finished eating with my friends, I went back to my dorm room. And my roommate told me. Yeah, man, I heard you couldn't get it up. I was like, bitch! She told you too? But I want to strangle that man, bro. So from that night, like, I vowed to myself never to drink any more alcohol ever again in my entire life. And why do I? And why did I do the following night? I drank more alcohol.